Hello, in this video I want to prepare a bit more complex uh, gas structure for uh, the transition state of a uh, DL Salder type of reaction. The structure I am aiming for is the one reported here in this uh, figure where these, uh, two, these two distances of 2.1 angstroms are obviously just indicative. Unfortunately Gaussian does not allow you anymore to impose uh, constraint to uh, your own decided distance it only allow you to uh, keep distances or angles or dihedrals on what this geometry is already uh, showing so let's start with a few carbon atoms and let's choose carbon dihedral there tetrahedral so we need uh, five carbon atoms, one, two, three, four, and five. Then we start to adjust them a little bit. First of all, we make a bond between the number one and number five. So here, let's say that there is a single bond. Then this one, we say that it's a double bond. And the same goes for this bond here. All right, so now there is a starting of a structure. Obviously, there are definitely too many hydrogen atoms. So we go here in the builder, we use delete atom, go back, and then we can start to remove one here, two here. One here, can okay, move maybe this one back here and this one in the front. All right, so now there are more or less the right number of hydrogen atoms, so we can use the nice clean function flip. And here we go, and we have a reasonable dying, cyclic dying structure. Right now, <clears throat> we want to put the dienophil, so this one here, and it should be more or less down here. Now it might be complicated to adjust two different molecules, one relative to the other in Gaussian, so we can just try and use some tricks. The trick I'm going to use is to select some specific atoms using this button, and the one that I'm going to Select uh, this hydrogen, carbon, carbon, hydrogen. Now I'm going to copy them, and now we see them that we have in the clipboard this fragment. So now we can build this fragment here. For example, we just put it here. Okay, this is wrong, it's wrongly positioned, so we can just say undo and try and put it maybe here. There we are. And this definitely makes more sense. All right, so now what do we need? We need to add two hydrogen atoms here. And we can do that quickly here. The periodic table, hydrogen, hydrogen atom. And we put one hydrogen here, oh, that's not a good position, maybe we can just delete it and try again. Can put one here and one here. Let's see if this make a little bit more sense. Let's try to clean it up. We add bond between these two guys and we reduce this distance to something a bit more resembling carbon hydrogen and we put it a single bond and the same for this so we reduce the distance translating the atom number one so the hydrogen and we say that there is a single bond all right then now we, we fix the carbon carbon bond we can translate 
both groups you can put them a bit closer and let's say that we have a double bond all right now again we use the clean function all right unfortunately it got a little bit worse and well we need to move work some more time so first of all the bond we just break again this bond here so that we can adjust the distance between this carbon atom and this one separately from this carbon atom and, and this one so again we select these two and we remove we select none all right so now these are two separate fragments i can do this i can fix atom number one the one here and just translate the other one and we can go to distance of around 2.1 that's what we are aiming for and then we do the same for the other two atoms keeps again we keep fixed number one and we move number two and there we go uh, 2.1 good okay so these are now at both at 2.1 angstroms from the atoms that we want to use want to fix the rest of the structure looks quite bad but hopefully Gaussian is going to be Gaussian is going to be able to treat it anyway so now we select this two and we put it as a double bond just to see it a bit better actually we can if we translate both groups now but let's leave it let's leave them fixed if one wants it's possible also to try and raise this carbon atom to make the structure even more resembling the one in the, in the picture it's not easy but it's doable so what one needs is again to trick uh, calcium so let's add two uh, phony atoms let's just use 200 important is to be more or less in the same plane here that is cutting the molecules then we put another one still in the same plane let's say here all right now we just again this this june this couple these carbon atoms, it's two hydrogen atoms from the rest, so this bond goes and this bond goes. Good. Now we can select an angle with this button here, and the angle should be between this carbon, the first fixtures hydrogen atoms, and the second extra hydrogen atoms so we rotate group of atom one which is this one we keep fix atom two and we keep fix atom three and now here we are we can move our group you can see it also from the side there it's more or less moving as we we are so let's do something like this now we say ok and now it's a bit more up if we want we can recreate these bonds just for graphical purposes All in. and of course we had to remove these two hydrogen atoms so we take delete atom and we remove this and this all right, now we are nearly done. The only thing we are left to do is to maybe try and get these distances to stay fixed. So we can do first a geometry optimization with constraint, 
where the constraints are these distances. There should be 2.1 angstroms. Then once we got this constraint geometry, the rest should be easy to use that geometry as a starting point for uh, TS transition state search. So the constraint that we want to put, we can just see the atom numbering. So it's we want to build constraint between atom number seven and atom number fourteen, and atom number one and atom number twelve. To do that, we go here in the builder and edit redundant coordinates. Then we do add bond. So we want set number seven, number 14, and we say that we want to freeze this coordinate. Same for 1 to 12, so we just say add, bond, 1, 12, freeze coordinate. All right. To be sure, we can recheck that these are 2.1, yes, and 2.1, which is what we wanted. All right, so now we are ready. So we can do cal calculation setup. We say that we do an optimization to a minimum. And then we choose whichever method we want. And we already see that there is a mod redundant keyword here. So it's already included also the uh, uh, constraint on the structure. Charge zero multiplicity one, that's, that's correct. You just choose whichever method you want. Then you say retain. Then file, save, and this can be TS, DS, constraint, 01.com. Say save, and here we are. So with this, we are going to be able to prepare this structure and then we are going to be using as a first step to create a to search for the uh, transition state for the DL solder reaction.